Jesus bless you. Nicole Underwood here, Pastor Prayer Can Help Ministries, with today's inspirational nugget. It comes from Revelations 22, verse 12, where Jesus talks about, Behold, I am coming soon, and his reward is with him. That reward that we wait for as Christian disciples, as children of the Lord, waiting to be turned into those glorified bodies, waiting to be free from a world that is full of sickness, disease, full of the enemy's uh, uh, deceptions and manipulations, just to be free of that so we can just be with the Lord, our our Savior, our King forever. Praise the Lord. Today I found myself sad and I'm being real with you and I was just overwhelmed with such, such tears. And it was because I had just started thinking about the people as I was listening to my praise and worship, about the people that I know and my loved ones and family members, some of them that used to be on fire and have such a great passion for Jesus, but started to move further and further away from what was pleasing for God. They had such a fire, but that fire in Christ just, just fizzled out. And I was in tears and, 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 and God reminded me and I, I believe he allowed me to feel just a snippet of the pain that Christ felt, which led him to the cross too, uh, of knowing, saying, Lit, this is why I have to do what I have to do because of these things going on in the world that we're seeing today and the things that were going before then. This love that God had for us because he knew what the enemy was doing and what he would continue to do. And because he loves us so much, he first loved us and just desires to have that fellowship and that connection once again with us. And 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 uh, uh, the reason why Jesus would go through all that suffering for us, there was a purpose. And then I became so angry and annoyed and frustrated at the devil, at the enemy for his lies and distractions and manipulations and, 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 and all those things that he is doing to the world and things that he did to me in the past and, and to people that I love. But then God reminded me, baby, listen, one of the greatest tools, one of the greatest weapons that I have is to live a life of righteousness, is to pray for people in spite of what I see, in spite of what it appears that they're doing or following, to keep praying, to keep believing, to share Jesus and how I act and react and how I, I treat others, to trust God with my loved ones despite what I see with my natural eyes or think that I know, to trust God with them, to trust that even if I go on to be with Jesus before the trumpet blast, that God has them. Remember, God had me. God had you when we acted like we lost our minds in the world and so forth. You know, that seed that was planted, those seeds that were watered by other people praying and so on and so forth, they, they were watered and, and brought forth great fruit because here we are. To remind myself uh, 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 that that God is doing that for other people, to trust God with my family members, to trust God with those loved ones, to trust God that he knows that what he is doing and, and, and that he operates in perfection. And I may not know all the details, but that he's got it. So instead of being so saddened and overwhelmed, don't stay there. You, you recognize that, but rejoice. Rejoice in knowing that God is able. Rejoice in knowing that because he saved me, he is able to save them. Rejoice in knowing that I've surrendered them unto the Lord. And that when you surrender something to the Lord, God will perfect it. God will mold it and shape it. He, he, you, when you surrender it, you have, you have let go of it freely so God can do exactly what he needs to do with it. So I'm going to go out in the world and, and aside from living righteously, I'm also going to show compassion and, and I'm going to smile and I'm going to encourage others and I'm going to lift up Jesus and I'm going to have the joy of the Lord strengthen me and I'm going to share Christ unapologetically with everybody and do the best that God has put within me to do so that when it is my time, I know I've done what I needed to do. And I know that those behind me that had seeds planted in their lives, they too will have the fruit bring forth in great increase and they too will pay it for it. So stay encouraged. Jesus bless you and look up because God is seeing you and God has got you and God has got your loved ones too. Thank you.